Welcome to Spiritual Minefield. Did you know that Isaiah saw Jesus in his throne? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start in Isaiah chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 1 to 10. And we're going to see today that Isaiah saw Jesus in the throne, and we're going to see another scripture confirm this. Another scripture is going to tell you that it was Jesus. So we're going to start in verse 1. It says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood seraphim, each having six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying. Verse 3, And they were calling out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am ruined because I am a man of unclean lips, dwelling among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King of the Lord of hosts. Now, I want you to understand this phrase here. This is Isaiah speaking. And he said here, For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And here the word Lord, as you can see, is in all caps, which is in reference to Yahweh. So here Isaiah said, I saw with my own eyes, I saw the living God, Yahweh. Okay, so we're going to see exactly who Isaiah saw. So let's continue to read verse 6. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, and in his hand was a glowing coal that he had taken from the, from, with tongues from the altar. And with it he touched my mouth and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your iniquity is removed, and your sin is atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. And he replied, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing but never understanding, Be ever seeing but never perceiving. Make the hearts of this people calloused, Deafen their ears and close their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, Hear with their ears, Understand with their hearts, And turn and be healed. So the phrase here in verse um, 9 and 10 you're going to see it again where we're going to go to. Now, why am I saying that Isaiah saw Jesus on the throne, that he is the Lord, O God Almighty, here in Isaiah chapter 6? Well, for this, we're going to go to John chapter 12. And we're going to start in verse, we're going to start in verse 37. And this is what it says. Although Jesus had performed so many signs in their presence, they still did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word of Isaiah the prophet. See, it's going back to Isaiah the prophet where we just read from. Okay, so keep that in mind. Lord, who has believed our message? And to whom uh, has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason, they were unable to believe. For again, Isaiah says, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts so that they cannot see with their eyes and understand with their hearts and turn and I will heal them. Isaiah, okay, here it is. It's verse 41. Look what it says. Isaiah said these things because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke about him. So you can see here, John understood that who Isaiah saw was Jesus himself. Here the scriptures clarify who Isaiah was speaking to. He was speaking to Jesus Christ. So we see that God and his full glory cannot show himself to people. That's why when Isaiah said, I saw the Lord with my own eyes, well, he couldn't see God in his full glory, meaning God the Father. Why? Because he will die. No one can see God in his full glory and live. So then who do people, when they see God, when you read the, uh, the Bible, for instance, when you read about Moses, and it said that he spoke to God face to face as a friend speaks to a friend, who you think he was talking to? He was talking to Jesus Christ. Why? Because Moses asked the Lord, Lord, I want to see you in your full glory. And then the Lord says, no one can see me and live. So we see here that the Father is constantly in his full glory. So then how does God speak to people? How can people see God? Through the person of Jesus Christ. So that means that Jesus is not in the full glory, meaning he comes in the, in the form in a way that would not cause people to perish. But the Father is in constant full glory. And if you would be in that type of presence, you know, in the presence of full glory and awesomeness, you would just disintegrate. So that's why um, God makes it a way that you could still see him face to face, and that would be in the person of Jesus Christ. So we see here in 
John chapter 12, verse 41, when Isaiah says, I saw the Lord with my own eyes, the one he saw was Jesus Christ. So now you know who Jesus is. Jesus is Yahweh, the living God. Thank you for listening.